Hello everybody, it's Mr. Z1, how you all doing? Hope you've had a lovely, lovely Christmas guys, I personally have had a pirate's life, a lack of uploads, I'm so, so sorry, but I'll explain in the video exactly why, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay today, and the commentary, and everything else, and have a lovely, lovely new year. Enjoy the video! So guys, yes, a merry merry Christmas to you all and a lovely new year. Hope you guys enjoy the new year as much as I am. It's absolutely been just such a good, good Christmas this year. I've loved every single minute of it and I hope you guys have too. I hope you've all had what you've asked for for Christmas and things like that. hope you've got a few gaming consoles or some PCs been built for you. And so I hope that's how it all happened for you. If you look at the gameplay as well, my name on it's Intel 365 as well, just ignore that. Uh, my Uplay account's still under that name, and unfortunately I didn't make a new one, I just bought Creed 4 and put it straight on that Uplay account, which was so, so stupid, but it, 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 it's been done now, there's nothing I can do about it. So the game mode you're watching here guys is Artifact Assault, now I love this game mode, I've loved it in every other Creed, I mean Creed 3 and uh, Revelations, Brotherhood, things like that, I've loved this game mode, it's so fast paced, it's so fun, uh, really good racking up points, it's good for your XP, for your character, it's just all round, it's a, just a really good game mode. And I did quite well in this game, I think I went 16-2 and two, and I protected that I got a few steals as well of the Artifact. And it, it was just an unbelievable game, I just really enjoyed it, and Creed 4 has just blown my mind again. Creed 3, I loved that, I'm a huge fan of the Creed series, but Creed 4 has really, really gripped me at the moment. I haven't played too much of the story because I want to play it with you guys, this is one of the things I want to talk about. Uh, I'm actually going to do a playthrough of the whole game, because I've done playthroughs before on this channel, I've never finished them. Like Dragon Age, I've never finished it, and it's a bit gutting really, I might finish that one day. Um, but Creed 4, all the Creed games I always, always finish, and I love playing those games. So. I'm going to do a playthrough of that game with you guys because I wanted to share my experience with you, you know, just play it straight off the bat. I played a little bit of multiplayer and a tiny bit of story, the bit of story just to get used to the PC controls because again, this is one of the first games that I've played on PC that are sort of different controls. I mean, Battlefield, you know, it's first person shooters are quite all generally the same, but <clears throat> games like this, sometimes you can actually pick it up and it can be quite a big difference to you know the your actual how you play the game so I've had to get used to that which has been great I've loved getting used to it and I love the PC the graphics on it is tremendous it just looks stunning the game is vibrant it's beautiful it looks awesome and I've absolutely enjoyed every I haven't played anything else I haven't played any Battlefield I haven't played any Call of Duty because I've got that on PC now I haven't played anything else I just love this game the multiplayer hasn't changed an awful lot from Creed 3 or the one or Revelations before that hasn't changed that much. You know, the game modes are still the same and uh, it hasn't changed an awful lot. I'm going to go into on another video all the character and all the, you know, best class setups for Creed 3 and uh, Creed 4 and that sort of thing. I'm going to make videos on the characters and the characters, the new characters are awesome. They look really, really cool. The kill animations are really cool. There's a lot of good stuff about this game. But, like I said, the online hasn't changed too much, and I like that because I love the online on the Creed games. I think they're absolutely unbelievable. I really love the online on the Creed games, and they're addictive. You know, I can play them for hours on end and not be bothered about, you know, having a break or anything. I just generally can sit there and play them loads. I love it. So, a bit about my Christmas. <laughs> Christmas Day, I was ill. I know, I know. 
of all days of the year, Christmas Day, I was ill. I woke up at 4 in the morning and I didn't get a good night's sleep at all. I was tossing and turning. I woke up at 4 in the morning I was ill. Oh, I was so, so bad. It was terrible. Uh, but I'm finally getting over that now, so thank goodness for that because I couldn't hack it anymore. It was horrible. Uh, I've been gaming a lot. I've just recently got Call of Duty Ghost uh, on PC. I've I got it on launch and then I about half an hour I got my money back for it because it just didn't impress me. There were so many bad things with it. And to be honest, they haven't changed the FPS in the game. And there's uh, things called micro stutters, which are little gla sort of lag spikes in the game. And they haven't changed. It's it just looks terrible. And I I don't like this in games, but it, it, it's you know I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion. The, it's not worth it. It was so so terrible. But you know the FPS you can can kind of push through that. But when you're just getting repetitive gameplay, then what's the point? And then you look at the beauty of Battlefield 4, the maps are stunning, the gameplay is smooth, it just knocks it out of the park. And then, so with all that going on, I have been gaming throughout Christmas, I've had a fantastic Christmas of gaming, getting new games and new hardware and things like that. I'll do a video on everything I got, but I have been going out, I've been socialising with family and friends, I've been very very drunk over some of the days of Christmas uh, which is you know kind of goes with the flow of Christmas doesn't it so I haven't actually had much time to sit down edit a video or even just talk you know and record some commentaries I really haven't had time which has really bummed me out really because I love YouTube and I looked at my YouTube channel today and it was a weird feeling I felt really proud now I've been doing YouTube for five years, I had Intel 365, everyone remembers that account, uh, that channel should I say, and I did, I loved it and I felt really happy with it, but this this channel, it, there's just something about it, I just love it, it and like I said, I looked, I've got 655 subscribers, and I've got to say a thank you before the new year, a massive, massive thank you to you guys, I'm doing so, so well, and I, I just looked at it today and I thought, wow, this is just incredible, I genuinely love it, I love gaming, I love talking to you guys, I love finding out things about you guys, I love talking about games, what better hobby than this, this is my, it's absolutely unbelievable, I love it, and I, it just, it's all thanks to you guys that I'm here talking about it, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing it, and I wouldn't enjoy it, you guys are commenting on my videos, and leaving ratings, and <clears throat> enjoying my content, hopefully, and, uh, but the feedback I've had this year has been really good, and when I sort of closed Intel 365, I mean, the channel's still up, because the tutorial's on there, and I don't want them to go, because people are still actually using them, and learning from them, they're getting quite high views now, so I didn't want to close them, and people not be able to learn, and you know, learn some new techniques on Sony Vegas, I didn't want that, so I've kept the channel open, but I'm not posting on it and that was quite a big sort of leap you know I had Intel 365 for five years I started off posting really pork like montages on uh, Black Ops the first one but then when I started getting better gear and was a bit more patient I started producing some pretty good stuff on there so to leave all that behind uh, for I mean I got botted I got started to get view botted which was an absolute nightmare so that kind of pissed me off but then to actually just leave all that channel and start a new one fresh it was quite a big jump for me and I gotta say I haven't looked back I love this channel it's I, I love the name I love what I'm doing I love my PC it's just incredible I love it and I love my subscribers honestly you guys are the best I know Every other YouTuber says it, oh my subscribers are the best, but genuinely we do, you're the people that watch our videos and you know enjoy our content and talk to us and get involved with us and we love it, we genuinely do buzz off it, it's a huge huge buzz talking to you guys and I've met so many interesting people over the past, what, seven months? I've been doing this channel now for about four months but you know I've met the likes of Mr. Naztastic, Seth Walker, uh, Mr. Cantino which I've known all my life but you know he's just another gamer and it's just incredible Logan Scott there's so many other people that I can name off the back you know off the top of my head that I've met and enjoy my you know enjoy gaming and it's just incredible it really really is so hats off to you guys 
So to sort of end the video, I just want to sort of do a bit of motivation for you guys, for other YouTubers, and just my subscribers in general. If you are looking to start YouTube, be patient, and if it is something you're passionate about, then do it. Because I think that's the biggest thing about YouTube, having passion and patience. Because if you've got the passion, you love it, then you'll you'll excel in it, you know, you will do well and it will show through. When I'm playing games, I love it. When I'm talking to you guys, I love it. So passion really goes a long way. If you're not that interested, I mean, you hear a lot of people saying, oh, is the money good if you're a partner? Well, it's not about money. It really isn't. A really good quote that I learned was, uh, a man is paid with two coins. The first coin is experience and the second is money. Now what that means is you get your experience and you thrive off it and you're passionate about something you love doing and then the money will come afterwards. But YouTube isn't about that and that's why I love YouTube. I mean the amount of hard work that goes into our videos, missing as Tastic, uh, Seth Walker, all his money goes to charity, Mr. Carantina, we put so much effort into our videos, not for money, but because we love it, we genuinely love it, so passion is a huge thing for you guys uh, to start YouTube. And patience, now, patience is a massive, massive, massive thing when starting YouTube. Be patient. If you look at Intel 365 and you look at the past videos, the very first couple of videos, they were poor montages, they were very... What I was actually doing was going on the Call of Duty website and uploading my clips from the actual site, I was like uploading them from there and then editing them, it was poor quality, it was really badly done, so then I took a break of about a year and a half, I took a break and I got myself some equipment, I got my HD PVR, I started to build up my software, I started to build up my hardware, until where I am today where I'm all kitted out and I can make videos now and I can make really good videos and good commentaries and clear commentaries because I've been patient, I've spent my time you know I've researched different things I've researched about my PC I've researched about my software and my hardware and now I'm all kitted out to actually do the video so don't want it all at once guys you know I can see people sat there thinking oh I just want to have four 40,000 subscribers and blue yetis and all this amazing equipment well don't just wait for it guys because it will come if you're patient and you bide your time and you research and you slowly get your equipment you will be better off doing that now I'm I'm not saying just sit there and you know just wait for something to come along what I used to do was put 50 pound a week from a little job that I had I used to put 50 pound a week away for to save up for equipment and I slowly so when I hit the hundred pound mark I bought my HD PVR and then I carried on like that and I kept plowing money and saving money until I got all the equipment that I wanted now this is a perfect thing for you guys I'm gonna do another video about it I'm gonna talk more about tips in general on YouTube but those are the two main things that I want you to go away with today is think about it patience and passion patience to absolutely wait for your time and passion to love what you're doing if you love YouTube you love gaming or you love whatever content you're gonna be doing do it and take care guys, I hope you have a lovely new year, a massive, massive happy new year from Mr. Z1, and I'll see you on the next video. See you in a bit.